Feeling good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right to the right to the superficial. Yeah, you're a little taller than the, uh, the wide receiver we had in here. Uh, just like <laughs> yeah. All right, far away. What uh, what makes this the place for you? Uh, just it just feels like the perfect fit. I mean, um, <clears throat> I mean, just the way that I've been <clears throat> welcomed by everybody. Uh, you know, uh, just the elite class of the way the trainers are, the strength staff. Um, I haven't got a chance to meet Vrabel just yet, but uh, I've just heard nothing but great things about him. Um, the the guys that I'm going to be playing with, uh, Taylor, Ben, Klein, all those guys. You know, I mean, it's it it just seems like it's just the perfect fit. Are you and Taylor now officially best friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I didn't want to say, hey, man, just <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute. But, you know, uh, he kind of knew it was going to happen before even I did. But, uh, you know, uh, yes, I've been talking to him, and I, I think that that relationship is going to go miles with this team. Um, and, you know, I think the relationship with the entire offensive line will, um, will work really well for us because I, I really do believe in having a connected team, um, and nothing can be more stronger than the whole line room. This is a team that really wants to establish a physical presence, a hard nosed football. Mm -hmm. How much will you come in and help make that a pillar for, for this team? Uh, I think that fits my nature completely. Uh, you know, I love to be aggressive. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, with the help of, of, of uh, Coach Keith Carter, that, you know, I'll be able to, you know, use my talents to be able to help them do that a little bit, a little bit more. Um, I, I think that I do a great job of helping out, especially on like double teams. Um, and, and I think that we'll be able to open up, you know, really great lanes for Henry. Um, we'll be able to protect Mariota. I just feel like this is a good fit. Like, I feel like it's comparable all across the board. What, what do you think about the quarterback here? I mean, what's an offensive lineman's mindset on, on protecting him? Um, you know, uh, you, you got to block a little bit longer. I mean, because, you know, he does a great job of extending plays with his legs. Um, I think that, you know, he's, he's a dual threat and, you know, he could take over a game. But if we can make things easy for him by being more efficient um, in, in first and second down, so he doesn't have to be the elite quarterback that has to take a, over a game, 40 plays a game, then I think that's going to be great for our team, uh, give our defense a break and, and, and be able to score points. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it definitely cures a lot of anxiety that you have just with going to a new place. You're not quite sure like how things are going to work, and and then now knowing that the terminology is going to pretty much stay the same, and and working with some guys that understand, you know, how how those plays are supposed to be played, it's going to be easier talking and communicating so that we can, you know, get the the highest amount of efficiency and yards out of each play that we run. That outside zone uh, that you, you guys ran it very, very well uh, with the Rams. Do you anticipate carrying that over and Henry uh, running it very well here? Yes, yes. The, the the big thing with me is like I like to talk to everybody. I like to talk to the tight ends. I like to talk to the running backs. I like to talk to the quarterbacks. I like everybody to kind of understand where we're coming from so that everybody can play better, whether that's, you know, helping uh, wide receivers figure it out, you know, kind of like how to block and, and what we're looking for out of them. Um, or if it's just like, hey, listen, this with, with this defensive front, uh, letting, you know, Derek know, hey, listen, uh, we're going to be able to push these guys outside. If you can put your foot in the ground and get up field, you know, you got you could have a huge play. Um, I think the communication is key, and I hope that I bring that along from learning from just, my past team. You just played on a team with some good running backs. What were your thoughts on Derek Henry? Um, I mean, this guy is, is, is huge. Um, he's shown, you know, his ability and how he can take over a game. Um, you know, I think the one thing that we did well back in L.A. was just being able to make sure that we gave Todd running lanes where he wasn't getting hit uh, immediately. Um, you know, if we could do the same thing with Henry, that, that head of steam would just allow him to get six yards of carry. And, and you know, we should expect as such. What? <laughs> <laughs> <We're good>. <laughs> uh, real healthy the last three years, it looks like. Yes. Maybe. Up and down a little bit in the years before that. What do you what do you think is the has changed in that department, or is it just good good fortune? Or what, how do you think? Explain that. You think? Um, I think that it comes down to just you know just the management. I mean, um, uh, I'm very confident in myself, but I I can't defy time. So you know, uh, I think that I was just managed extremely well, but at the same time, you know, letting me be able to uh, go out there and and play at an at a high level by giving them my all. 
um, you know, taking care of my body myself and, and just, you know, being smart about everything. You know, there's some things you just can't avoid um, as far as injuries come. But, you know, if you got everybody taking care of their job up front, then, you know, there's a lot less likelihood that that's going to happen. Um, you know, I think that I play a little bit more aggressive as well. Uh, you know, I, I try to keep guys on a line of scrimmage, and that literally keeps me out of the way of people falling around my legs. <laughs> Is that, I guess, obviously, then with shoulders no longer. Oh, uh, shoulders Shoulders are no longer an issue. I had those taken care of uh, long ago um, from, from Dr. Cordasco at the Hospital of Special Surgery in New York, and uh, he did such a great job that I haven't had any problem ever since. And if you know me, I like to really go hard in the weight room, so um, th that should tell you right there. <laughs> Oh, it's it's going to be great. Um, you know, when you work next to an athletic tackle and you're an athletic guard, you know, sometimes you just have those freak of nature plays where things can just happen and you end up opening huge, huge lanes in the running game. Um, and also being able to pick up different twists and different blitzes of that nature because there is going to be a little bit of time where uh, me and Taylor are going to have to try to figure each other out and we're going to have to adjust based on whatever we see. Uh, there's going to be... New things that we're going to have to learn about how to pass off certain twists, um, how to pick up certain blitzes, and just how to communicate in general. Um, but, you know, at first in OTAs, you know, you try to take care of everything so you see a lot of moving going around. But I think that we'll be able to slow it down and, and, and be more efficient in our play so that we can continue to be aggressive like Coach said. Yes. Ohio, so yes. There. Yes. 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 I know that you know he's he's Ohio bred and uh, um, you know played at Ohio State. I know that you know he had a long career with with the Patriots. But I just know um, just from hearing about the type of guy that he is, just makes you excited to play for him. I love that he's uh, you know younger coach that has great energy, and you know it just it's just such an easy transition knowing that these guys really look out for each other on this team. And with him at the helm, I think that it's just trickling down to everybody. Super Bowl one like and how much it kind of what your appetite to want to do that again? Oh man, it was it was it was incredible. It was incredible. Um, you know, at first, you know, you just want to be able to get to the playoffs. Um, then you then you start winning all these games and you're like, okay, we're Super Bowl contenders. You try to ignore the noise with just people talking about how good you are. We have our first game against the Cowboys and we still have that salty taste from Atlanta the year before. So we wanted to make sure that we ran the ball and we make sure that we made efficient plays all day. Um, and we were able to do that. Uh, being able to have 200 yard rushers just, you know, allowed the offensive line to put it on our back and, <clears throat> and pretty much run with it. And I think we took a lot of pride in that game. Uh, for sure. Uh, going to New Orleans, you know, everybody also had another solid taste in their mouth from earlier in the year. Uh, you know, time expired on us, but, you know, we definitely had a chance to win that game. So we wanted to take advantage of it. Um, it was crazy, both sides of the ball. And then to be able to pull that out in that fashion, I mean, winning an NFC championship like that, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't dream of things any, any, anything better. Um, as far as the Super Bowl went, I mean, it's just the moment alone was just, was just huge. I mean, I remember looking at Gladys Knight singing the national anthem to me. I was just like, you know, just kind of stuck. But uh, that was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, getting that little taste of it, you know, it, it definitely wants you to, to go back because, you know, the whole, the whole reason why we're here is to get a Super Bowl championship. I mean, we're not here to just, you know, appear in the playoffs. We want, we want to make a run. So, I mean, as, as long as we got everybody focusing on that same goal, we should be strong for it. Man, it's nerve wracking, man. I mean, it's it really is. I mean, you're used to something for nine years, and I, I shouldn't even say that because you know every few years I had to change coaches. But um, you know, just having the same people around, um, as far as like the strength staff, the the training staff, just people that you trust, and now coming out here when you're 30 years old and trying to create new relationships and trying to get guys to trust you as well, um, it's a challenge. But you know, the biggest thing for me is that now that all of this is done, now I've met everybody. Uh, you know, I can basically put a plan together and, and we could put that into action. And, you know, all I keep hearing is about how much everybody wants to be put into action and get this team back to the nostalgia that they had in the past. And I'm glad that I get to be a part of that. As an offensive line, when you're able to go shoot or shoot, fire off the ball, generate that initial contact, how gratifying and how much does that help you get into that groove? 
Oh man, that's it's, it's fantastic. I mean, there's no there's no better feeling in the world than uh, moving a guy against their will. Um, uh, so for for so for me, uh, I love being aggressive off the ball. I love being able to shoot my hands into somebody. I love creating space, and I love seeing all the skilled guys get get all the credit because those guys are going out there and and getting tackled, and I'm just making sure that they don't. <laughs> you mentioned a minute ago the need to develop an on field relationship with Taylor so that you know each other's tendencies. And right. Do the same thing a few years ago when you guys brought in with Ward. Yes. Is that I guess familiarity with that process going to help you out? Yeah, um, it's it's literally the same experience. I remember starting OTAs. Um, you know, we we had a twist, and you know, one guy was thinking that we were going to man it. The other guy was thinking that we were going to pass it off. And we probably saw you probably saw one of the most athletic moves ever to to, to stay on both of our guys. Um, but then after that, it just became second nature. So I, I expect the same thing. And with you know how young uh, Taylor is, you know, it, it should be even better. You spent much time in Nashville. What were your kind of your expectations with the city after leaving LA? Um, after after leaving LA, you know, um, I, I know that this is a city that really cares about their team. I know that the uh, the fan base here is is incredible. Um, uh, I think that really it's just the sky's the limit. I mean, you know, when I left from St. Louis, I really didn't know what to expect, and then being in LA and seeing the amount of you know welcome welcome is that we got from from all of these fans was second to none and now you know being in a place where it's us and the hockey team i mean <laughs> that's a that's a totally new experience but uh once again i've heard nothing but great things about this city a lot of my friends who are also my teammates retired in this city and you know i'm just so happy that i have a great support system on and off the field out here do you consider yourself a better run blocker pass blocker or do you uh, it doesn't matter. As long as we can put points on the board, I, don't, I really don't care. Um, I enjoy uh, run blocking just because you get to advance rather than, you know, step back. Um, and it's also a lot less stressful. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I, you, you know, you just have to do your job. And that's, that's what I'm here for, to do my job effectively. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Losers are down right now.